Hi there. I'm Buddha, and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I will be comparing two classic delay pedals, one analog and one digital. Is there any difference? Yes, there is. A lot of difference. Not only in the way they are built, but in the tone. There's a huge difference between these two pedals. Uh, for the comparison to be super close, I've chosen two boss pedals. So the brand is the same. One is analog, is the DM2W, which is the Wazacraft series. Great delay pedal. Not my favorite, but a great delay pedal. And the classic of classics, Boss DD3. Okay, I started playing with the Boss uh, DM2, the Wazacraft. What is an analog delay? Well, the analog delay, uh, the delay is, is done by a chip, uh, uh, an analog, it's analogical. So the, the signal, it's always analog, it never changes. It's pr processed inside of the pedal by a, a chip that uh, delays the signal. This, this is a Bucket Brigade chip, so this is the classic uh, delay tone. Because of the clock uh, time of the of the of the delay pedal, it makes the repeats darker each time. So that's the the huge characteristic of an analog delay. So if you if you notice if you hear carefully, the repeat uh, or if I play a the repeat will be darker than my original tone, and it gets darker and darker. Let's. Add more repeats. And it it starts to degrade itself. You have a lot of uh, artifacts, and this is uh, by default. It, it it is an error, but it's what it makes it so special. Usually, an analog delay it's darker, so it stands beneath your note. It doesn't it doesn't compete with your original signal, so it stands behind. Uh, you you cannot almost almost not hear it. <laughs> So it's fat sounding, it's warmer, uh, because it, it's not as bright. And it has to do with the repetitions are re-recording. So you, you, you play a song, you play a something into the pedal, it records your, your, the, the thing you played, and then it repeats it. But 
once he repeats it, it's not, it's no longer the same. It al already has altered it. So it's darker, uh, it's dirtier, and if you uh, um, if you raise the the feedback, so if you have a lot more repeats, it gets darker and dirtier each time it repeats itself because it's re-recording what, what he, he has already recorded. The digital delay uh, processes your tone and converts it as a, a digital converter, so an analog to digital, and then at the end of the pedal, a digital to analog. So your signal goes digital inside of the pedal and comes again out, uh, it comes again analog. That's why a lot of people don't don't like the digital uh, pedals because there's a conversion, so there's a sound into it. You you are listening to the sound of the converter, the converters. But also the repeats are clean and exactly the same as you played it. So. Let's try to match the pedals. So they are very different. If we lower the feedback on each pedal, let's try to play with some drive. I'm using the Distortion Plus, the MXR Distortion Plus. To me, the digital pedal is unpleasing to play. It's, uh, it repeats, but it doesn't inspire me to play. The analog one, it's, it's magical. It, it almost changes the universe where you're playing. So it, it, it has the, um, the warmth and makes, makes this, the tone a lot magical. <laughs>
and the digital one, the trail, is it starts to get fizzy. Notice. Mm. With less feedback, it's it's clearer. And the self oscillation in in the analog um, delay is it, it gets dirtier, distorted, and it's broken. While the self oscillation on the digital one is clean and it's it's very precise. What is self oscillation is if you turn the feedback to maximum, it will start to generate um, a repetition that that will begin to be a noise. And then you can play with it if you move the tempo of the delay. So in the analog one, It changed it so much that uh, it, it stopped being um, a repetition tuk, 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 to be a full note. With a digital delay, it doesn't happen, so it's... So they are they are different in shape. I really love the analog thing. Uh, it's my thing. And the DM2 has two modes: the standard and the custom. I was playing with it in the custom mode. The standard is cleaner and has a lot less delay. This is the maximum. But the tone of the standard doesn't I doesn't I don't like it too much. I prefer the tone of the custom mode. It makes it sound a lot better to my ears. A 
of course, if you don't li if you don't hear as much as um, if you use just one repetition and use a slap back, a short delay. <laughs> If you use just one repetition, you'll probably don't hear the difference. I still hear it, <laughs> uh, even even in a short delay. This tends to to make my sound sound thinner, although the the, the analog makes it fuller. Uh, if we use really short delays. It's like you if you're in a bathroom. sounds a lot a lot uh, warmer a lot cooler it's better way better and it has a an hold fun function which I'm not really sure what it does but okay it repeats for as long as you want it so if we Yeah, the whole function is before the loop, the, the, the loop pedals existed, so you could play a chord. And you 
can play with yourself. It is an infinite. Uh, it is an infinite delay, but you can play on top of it. It won't add to the delay. A lot of people that use the um, the DD3 use it on overdriven amps. So I'm using the MXR distortion before the delay pedals. If if we use the delay into an overdriven amp, uh, it will sound the delay will will crap up a lot because the distortion will be on the delays too. So let's put the delay sounding. Okay, let's use the delay. They are similar. Let's use it with the red channel of the Royal Atlantic. can get it but I don't. <laughs> uh, of course the digital one since it is a lot cleaner it works better with an overdriven amp because the repetitions are clearer so you have no distortion on the repetitions although in the um, in the analog delay you have distortion on the repetitions you have you have them being dirtier and dirtier uh, so it might sound worse but I would prefer hands down the, the the digital one, and this is not even one of my favorites. It's a great digit. It's a great analog uh, delay, and I, I I meant I will prefer the analog one uh, versus the digital. But and this is for another episode. Being digital doesn't mean that it is b worst or a bad thing, because I really love the delays on my. M series, the Line 6 M series, or the DL4, Line 6 DL4, which are digital. Even the Strymon delays are digital. Uh, the timeline is digital. Uh, and a lot of digital pedals sound really good. This pedal is just another dig a, a different digital thing. It's not because it's digital, it's because the way it's made, the tone it has. And when they did this pedal, people were sick of the dark repetitions from the analog delays. They wanted pristine repetitions. So this is perfect repetitions. You, you can play it, you can play rhythmically as if you have two guitars, exactly the same. That's why people usually love the, the digital delays. And they are still in production these days. This is an old one from the 80s, but, um, and this is a new one um, from the 2016. But uh, I think the analog delay is a lot more inspiring than the digital delay, at least to me. Well, that's it. I hope you have loved the show. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's super simple. Just click and that's it. And you'll be part of us, joining the family. And you'll, be, you'll get notifications every time we post a new episode which is every Monday, every week. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye.